In this patient with chronic epigastric pain, what is one surgical treatment? This is a hint of several that we will discuss in this video. In this patient with chronic epigastric pain, we have a transverse transabdominal ultrasound focused on the pancreatic parenchyma showing multiple echogenic foci consistent with calcifications. The arrow here shows a dramatically dilated duct. This is chronic pancreatitis. Chronic pancreatitis is usually associated with alcohol abuse. Depending on the severity of glandular atrophy, both endocrine and exocrine insufficiency may emerge. These late manifestations are almost always preceded by many years of painful attacks of pancreatitis. Pain management, lifestyle modifications, enzyme replacement, and endoscopic treatment to relieve obstruction, like from another stone, are usually the first steps. If there is intractable pain, however, what is the surgical treatment? Patients with big duct disease and a dilated main pancreatic duct, more than seven millimeters, may undergo surgical duct drainage. Inflammatory mass in the pancreatic head also may require procedure. The Whipple procedure is also known as a pancreaticoduodenectomy. Drawings show the pancreatic head and the duodenum have been resected. Number one is the pancreaticojejunostomy. Number two is the hepaticojejunostomy. Number three is the gastrojejunostomy. And number four is the duodenojejunostomy with preservation of the pylorus. The Beeger procedure is a subtotal resection of the pancreatic head, usually utilized in patients with an inflammatory mass in the pancreatic head. Drawings here show resection of the pancreatic neck and excavation of the pancreatic head, the intrapancreatic common bile duct, and the inferior portion of the uncinate process. There is sparing of the duodenum. The Poistel procedure is a side-to-side -side pancreaticojejunostomy with the pancreatic duct open along its anterior surface with subsequent longitudinal pancreaticojejunal anastomosis of the duct with a root loop. Lastly, the Frey procedure is resection of the anterior pancreatic head followed by opening of the anterior pancreatic duct and longitudinal pancreaticojejunal anastomosis with Roux loop. The drawing on the left shows that initially the main pancreatic duct is exposed and the head is excavated, preserving a rim of pancreatic tissue and the biliary duct. The right drawing shows the next step, a longitudinal side-to-side -side pancreaticojejunostomy. Hope you enjoyed this overview of surgical treatment for chronic pancreatitis.